but we're excited to have the AJGA here in in on the course in the, with the club in the community, and it just showcases both the uh, the American Junior Golf Association and the club at Arrow Creek, and then that's what it's all about, and and then it, we're giving to junior golf, and that is the future of our industry. So, um, you know, you couldn't do that without uh, we couldn't do any of this without the, the fantastic membership. Uh, that we have at the club and the community, the uh, residents of Arrow Creek. Uh, it's, uh, it's a wonderful place to live and play. Uh, the, everybody is really nice. Most of, most are transplants, not all. And uh, everybody really gets along well. We've been a member since 2005 as well, which is 11 years. Um, and uh, became, I've always been fairly active in the club. And when we had trouble, uh, the club was in trouble with its previous owners and they filed bankruptcy in January of 2014. So uh, two of us, Tom Gurney and myself, um, led the charge in bankruptcy court and took away, took the club away from the previous owners in court and uh, put an investment group together of originally 36 people of neighbors and members and now it's 46. And we, uh, at that this is the, the, called the Friends of Arrow Creek and we, renamed the club the club at Arrow Creek and it has uh, been a marvelous uh, two years uh, in growth. We started uh, when we took it out of bankruptcy in October of 14. We had 135 golf members and 40 social. Today there are 580 golf members and um, 101 social members. So the growth has been really good. We're not quite where we need to be yet but uh, it's uh, been wonderful. The course we've been able to bring back. It was in uh, pretty rough shape. We have a great, uh, great uh, team here at uh, the club at Arrow Creek uh, with uh, the uh, uh, general manager, Jason Peterson, who was, comes to us from Arnold Palmer Golf Management, who we hired to operate the course uh, after we took it over. Uh, it is, uh, they have been fantastic as far as managing and growing the course in the club and uh, and then obviously in bringing both the clubhouse and the uh, um, and the course it back into uh, uh, its excellent condition that it was uh, uh, eight ten years ago um, the uh, um, team members we have I said are really excellent but the members of the club also are uh, are just uh, have been wonderful they volunteer uh, for, for to help bring the club back, they work on things. Um, uh, we also um, those same members are the, the ones that will do donate their time to the uh, uh, American Junior Golf Association, uh, which we believe is a, is a very good uh, uh, endeavor and in, in what it does for young folks and, and bringing scholarships to. Uh, uh, to the men, young men and women in the golf industry uh, in in our area, but you, of course, across the United States in the world. Um, but uh, it's uh, this is the first tournament here uh, in the Reno, Tahoe area of this nature, and uh, we are just pleased to uh, uh, host sponsor the tournament. Well, the courses, you know, being uniquely different between the legend and the challenge. Um, the legend course is, of course, as I said, uh, designed by Arnold Palmer, and uh, and that is a very, uh, it's a tighter course, uh, a more targeted course. Uh, they're, where they, both courses are on the side of a mountain, so it's very difficult. Uh, and we do have our winds that uh, come up, and then this week is showing that. The challenge course is designed by Fuzzy Zeller and John Harbottle. It's a more open course, more like a Lynx course, um, but uh, but the greens on both courses are very challenging but very gratifying when you start to master them. Uh, it's, it's, it's really neat.